as you can see these guys right here was claiming Grove Street back in the day but they was not from Grove Street they was claiming Grove Street because Grove Street have took over a lot of neighborhoods they come from a neighborhood called Linwood this was the neighborhood they grew up at and earthquake had hit the state of San Andreas streets and houses and places started collapsing after it was over with the city came in and rebuilt the neighborhood and called it Chamberlain Hills wasn't no more Grove Street on Grove Street ballers had took over CJ Kingpin had left so the guys that was from Chamberlain Hills wasn't claiming that seven guys Kenny G, Franklin, Lamar, Stretch, Gerald, Lorenzo, and Toe. So they said, we're going to claim our own neighborhood. Chamberlain Hills. They didn't put in so much work. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> put it down for the hood and made a name for themselves. Chamberlain Family Gangsters. And this is the block that they grew up on. Chamberlain Hills. Gerald and Kenny G is first cousins, which was one of the ones that helped put Chamberlain Family Gangsters on the map. So Kenny G's little brother, which is Gerald's little cousin, Dino, coming up. The second generation. Generation. Dino had his circle. And the guys that Dino ran with was Smooth, Salsa, and Ice B. You know what I'm saying? These guys, 19 and in their early 20s, grew up together. Shania, Dino, Salsa, Ice B, and Smooth. Childhood friends and neighbors came up in the same block. Dino's big brother, OG Kenny G. He got killed. The other OG, Stretch, went to the pen. So you got this seven man circle. Wasn't hanging with each other as much as like they used to. Toe and Lorenzo always been the best of friends. They always still hung with each other, but was always ready to ride. Franklin and Lamar was always the best of friends of day one from the seven man circle that helped start the Chamber of Family Gangsters. Gerald, that helped start the Chamber Family Gangsters, he's making money. Lamar was always in a mix, sending the homies out on missions. When he became an OG, he really started calling shots. And he had this young generation, Dino, Smooth, Stretch, Shania, and Salsa, putting in work. Chamberlain Hill still holding it down. To this day, these guys didn't play. There was other sets back then, like the Davisons. They had tried to split up from Chamberlain, but then Chamberlain had the guys from Chamberlain had fixed that problem and got that shit straight. It was two green gangs that grew up in Chamberlain Hills, but all one all, it was from day one, Chamberlain family gangsters. the neighborhood. So you know, Lorenzo always fucked it with Petey. Petey is the guy in the green jacket. He's the one that started the Davisons. He's beefing. He kicked it with them sometimes. But his partner right there with the green hat, which is Petey's homeboy, Jing. They was OGs of the Davisons, and their little young cats was these cats right here. But as you can see, the one with the hat, little badass Brady, he rode with Chamber Hills too, because of his sister, Shania, the lady Chamber family gangster. She didn't play no games. One of the beautifulest girls, very educated, but knew about the game banging life. And 
she had a big sister, Tanya. So, you know, and this is how this story came about. And this is Chamber Family Gangsters. So get ready for Straight Outta Chamber.